This is a nightmare. How to get so bad so fast? It's like someone deliberately freed all the most dangerous inmates. This is worse than I ever imagined. Both the staff and the non-violent inmates are in a bad spot. I've got to get those people out. Spider-Man! Get me out of here! Thank you. It got so bad so fast. Glad to help. Now get as far away from here as you can. Try to humiliate you less. Menken, right? You work for Oscorp. I'll try not to hold that against you. What happened here? It was Cassidy. We tried treating him with an experiment. Don't! I know what you and Fisk were up to. Using these people as guinea pigs. Okay, fine, fine. But the danger's real. Cassidy changed into something horrible, deadly, and he wants to make more like him. More. Cassidy's a loony psycho killer. When did he turn into a social butterfly? He had an abusive father, absent mother. He was always jealous of other kids with loving, stable families. So he's trying to create one? Yes. Out of the most dangerous inmates at Ravencroft. He wants to build a family in his image. How do I stop Cassidy? Uh, I'm not sure you can. You'd have to overwhelm the symbiote we injected him with. Stop it from functioning. Inflict too much damage for it to handle. Perhaps with fire, or intense vibrations. It's all theoretical. We plan further studies, but... What did this nutball cocktail of yours do to it? I don't fully understand it. <coughs> But like everything else, the goal was to cure the Osborns. In this case, by creating organic, intelligent life forms, uh, nanites, that rely on the body's survival for their own. Now listen to me. Any disease, any damage, they can recognize and heal, as well as protect and defend the host. <coughs> symbiotic relationship. Get you outside, which is more than you deserve. But then I have to go after Cassidy. I agree. He's headed for the sub-basements, where the most damaged inmates are kept. Now, if he makes them into beings like him, no place will be safe. Oh. <clears throat> okay, I'm fine from here. My car's outside. Get to a hospital. Tell the police everything. Or after I'm done with Cassidy, I'll come looking for you. <laughs> Heavy duty security. I wonder what they had here. I get the feeling something seriously wrong was going on here. Sleep. I get the feeling there's something behind that wreckage. <laughs> Gotta stay out of that water, or I'm gonna get one heck of a jolt. Venom Project? Huh, great. Why is it never the Puppy Project or the Chocolate Project? <sighs> Gotta stop Cassidy before he makes things even worse. Spider. Don't fear the 
darkness. Let it in. Then you'll be like me. What on earth is that? Actually, it doesn't look like anything from Earth. I've never seen anything so horrible in my life. So many mouths to feed. I think I'll feed them. You. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. My friend is hungry. It wants a nice fat spider to munch on. Get back to the action. <clears throat> Cassidy! That's as far as you go. One of you is already too many. I'm not Cletus Cassidy. Not anymore. I'm my true self now. I'm... Carnage! I still get butterflies when I play. Poor little spider. You're just not ready to see the truth, are you? I didn't web up your mouth because I don't want you to suffocate. But you're starting to talk me out of it. See, you think you're joking. But I know what you won't admit to yourself. When I killed those criminals, you were happy. You were grateful to me, weren't you? No, I... It's not too late to understand. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. You say you're searching for answers in death, but what were you trying to do when I stopped you? Make others like you? A family? So we can spread the message, the truth, that chaos and death are the only- Wrong. You're trying to create a family because you never had one. You weren't looking for death, Cletus. You wanted the life you never had. Now who's not seeing the truth? You said you killed to understand death. What are you trying to understand? The meaning, the truth, the secrets it reveals about all of us that we're afraid to see. I can tell you that. Death is a part of life. It happens. Sometimes for a reason, sometimes for no reason. You're wasting your time looking for some cosmic answer in death. Life is where you find meaning. And buddy, you've wasted yours. What makes you think I'm anything like you? You wanted to do what I did. End those criminals forever. That's true. I didn't want to admit it, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel that way. I knew it. But that's human. Anger, wanting revenge. It's not wrong to feel emotions like that. It's wrong to act on them. Here's the real difference between us, Spider-Man. I'm at peace with who I am. You shouldn't be. And you should? Then why aren't you? Sorry, Cletus. I just figured out talking to a psycho killer isn't gonna give me the answers I'm after. I know. What will? Death! Story. Eh, but come on. 
a way of bringing people together. On the floor. Let's see this again in slow motion. the answer, Cletus. None of us are gonna find any answers here. What's the matter, Peter? You look like you lost your last friend. Hey, but I know for a fact you've still got at least one. It's Uncle Ben. I miss him so much. I just feel lost without him he raised me i loved him and he died because he was looking for me i'm not sure how to live with that let me ask you something pilgrim your uncle ben he was one of the best people i ever knew everyone loved him he had an amazing life right so why do you want to make it all about how it ended what counts isn't how he died peter what matters is really the way he lived. I, I want you to make his life mean something. I want you to be the man he raised you to be. The man that he was so proud of when he saw what you were growing into. He told you that? All the time. Your uncle knew what a tough place the world could be. He knew that it needs heroes. And hey, take it from me. You are one of those heroes. So what do you say? Are you gonna go out there and prove it? I want you to do it for Uncle Ben, and for me. Yeah. Yes, Dan. I will. I miss Uncle Ben. I'll always miss him. But I don't have to replace him, because he already gave me everything I needed. Now it's up to me to honor his memory by using what he gave me, in a way that'll make him proud. Nuff said. Nuff said. 